What is critical point for pilots? I have been asked this question by many students and this topic is quite important for exam point of view. So let's discuss about it. Critical point is required to be calculated whenever an airplane flies from one place to other and there is no suitable en route alternate within a stipulated time. If in case you fly over ocean, you fly over desert or if you fly over polar region or if you fly over forest where there is absolutely no en route alternate available which is suitable for your airplane to land in case of an emergency. So in that case critical point is required to be calculated. So what is this critical point? Critical point is that point between place of departure and destination or between any two suitable alternates on the route from where it takes equal time to go to the place of departure or to go to the place of destination. So CP has multiple names. CP is equal time point, equitime point or critical point or point of equal time. All right. If in case you want to fly from place A to B. So if there is any kind of an emergency on board, if there is any engine failure or pressurization failure or a crew member gets heart attack. If you have not crossed CP, then you need to proceed to place of departure. So this is a time critical problem. In that case, you need to return to place of departure if you have not crossed CP. If you have crossed CP and you face any kind of an emergency with an airplane, then you need to proceed to destination because that will take lesser time to reach. So CP is that point from where it takes equal time to go to either of the place. So if you want to know what is the distance to CP, there is a formula which needs to be uh, used to calculate distance to CP from place of departure to CP. So if you have a look at this image where there is place A, place B, capital D is the distance between A to B, DCP is distance between A to CP. Now the time to go from CP to A is equal to time to go from CP to B. That is by definition of CP. So time 1 is equal to time 2 and time is distance upon ground speed. So time 1 is distance which is DCP upon H. H is the homebound ground speed which is the ground speed to go from CP to A and O is the ground speed to go from CP to B. DCP upon H will give you time 1 which is time to go from CP to A and time 2 is given by D minus DCP upon O because time is distance upon ground speed. So CP to B distance will be full A to B distance minus DCP that is D minus DCP upon O. O is the outbound ground speed to go from CP to B and this is in case of an emergency with the airplane. So if it is engine failure, then of course your speed will be lower. So H and O will be calculated with reduced TAS or reduced speed, okay? If you cross multiply this, DCP into O is equal to H into D minus DCP. So DCP into O is equal to DH minus DCP into H so you take DCP into H on left hand side and if you calculate you will get so take DCP common O plus H in the bracket that is equal to DH so DCP will be equal to DH upon O plus H so that is the formula for distance to CP so CP or critical point is the equal time point. The concept of EDTO lies in here itself. So while flying between place A to B, it is important that the pilot must fly such route where an airplane is always within one hour flight time with one engine in operative cruise speed for a twin engine airplane. So. If in case an airplane route does not fall in this one hour of flight time, the distance corresponding to that, then you require extended diversion time operation approval from the DGCA. So that is the concept of EDTO which will be discussed later in the other video. I hope you have followed the concept of CP 
For more videos on the aviation content, please follow CNTAA and we will take your requests for the other videos if you want us to explain on the channel. Thank you very much.